has come. All the talk is done. Now the fight is set to begin. There's Andre Bishop in the locker room, Teddy, with his longtime trainer, Gus Carisi. Of course, Gus was one who very early on tapped Andre Bishop as a fighter to watch. He said he was full of potential. Yes, he was a tremendous amateur. He won the World Championship Tournament. From the State Palace Theater here in New Orleans, we welcome you to our middleweight main event, a much-anticipated bout between Andre Bishop and Mike Walker. It is now time right, for our Let's main good, event good fight. for the State Touch Palace him up, Theater go. here so in New saying? Orleans. Middleweights Andre Bishop and Mike Walker set to square off for the official introductions. We send it up to the ring. Well, a lot of people were looking forward to this fight, and with very good reason. When you pit these two guys together, it should be a very good fight. You don't have to look for either one of them. They are right there to be found, and our fans love that. The other day when we were talking about good power, oh! Walker's in a tough spot now, down on the canvas. How will he recover? One, two, three, four, five. So he is able to get up to his feet after that knockdown. But, Teddy, it's what's ahead that's the problem. Yeah, we're getting a peek right now into his heart, into his soul. How about that left hand? Nice two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. And yet another big shot comes in. Once again, he goes down. Can he survive this? One, two, three, four, five, six. Ladies and gentlemen, by knockouts, your winner, Andre Bishop. I was on my way, and baby brother was making his mark as an amateur. Gus had been our father's trainer. He took right. us in after our parents died. Good. Keep that jam going. Ladies and gentlemen, and Wilfred Rosario do what Mike Walker and Lucius Palmer were unable to do. Andre Bishop now 2-0 in his career. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas with you ringside here at the State Palace Theater in New Orleans to see if the young upstart can make it three in a row. Bishop. Oh, round number one scheduled for six. Hey, this is a big spot for him, Teddy. Rosario's future could be determined tonight. He's a clear-cut underdog. Yeah, Joe, this is like high school. You want to get to college, but you have to go through high school first. What you learn there will tell what college you get accepted into. That's what the story is for this fight. Here's a moment. Rosario's in a bad place right now. He was, what a big shot. Not a good sign of the night to come. He's down here in the first round. Came out a little careless. He went down from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. And for the second time tonight, he goes down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Rosario's still in a tough spot here. Don't get fooled just thinking he beat the count. Rosario's not going to hear from those judges. He's a knockout victim. I kept winning fights. I got people's attention. My father told me to find out what it'll take to make you change your mind about working with us. It's easy. Yeah? Yeah. All you gotta do is change Gus's mind. 
What's <laughs> that all? <laughs> you don't have a say in this? Sure I do. I say you got some my manager. And I guess I'm gonna have to change Gus's mind. Good luck with that. Thanks. Oh, by the way, I was by Keyshawn Hayes' camp the other day. His trainer thinks you're a sucker for the left hook. Keyshawn says he's dropping you with it. Yeah? Well, Keyshawn Hayes entitled his own opinion, isn't he? 